Fight for a touch of class time. I am Emma Chu, if you're new to the channel. Every week we get together and we, well, I have you guys follow around. I just woke up. I have you guys follow me around through my week and it's currently Wednesday and I'm going to do my makeup because I have to go teach school today. Normally we don't have school on Wednesdays, but things have changed. Uh, I'm helping because we have state testing. So I have to help out with that and teach the kids. And then I am struggling to get last week's episode of Five Foot with a Touch Class to upload. The internet's really bad. So it may be a minute. So that's why it didn't go up at midnight like usual. Hopefully this one will do better. Um, but yeah, so the kids have state testing and I'm just there to kind of help out and proctor be the proctor or whatever. I'm tired. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, so all the kids are there from like 8 to 2 is what it's supposed to be. But sometimes we're working till like 3, sometimes 4. And then my temple shift changed. So I was working the Wednesday midday shift. And then I heard that they needed more workers on Saturdays at the temple for the Saturday morning shift. So I was like, you know what? I want to do that. I want to go and help. And then I ended up finding out not only do they need more sisters on the morning shift, we're also in need of a lot more uh, Spanish speakers on the shift. So I've been working on my Spanish a little bit so that I can help out there as well because we get a lot of people doing uh, work for their ancestors, but they don't understand English. They need, uh, request a Spanish session. So I'm kind of like, well, I struggle, but I can help a little bit, you know? So I'm like, I need to like really up the game on my Spanish. I used to be really good at it when I was younger. But now I'm like, mm, I'm a little rusty. So I need to like look back into it and see. <laughs> oh, I never put the lid back on my foundation. Guys, I have like nothing but Kylie cosmetic makeup now. Like, I have very little bit of stuff that's not Kylie Cosmetic. I have issues. <laughs> um, and this is like the best makeup ever. It's Kylie Cosmetics. I love it so much. It's so amazing. Yeah, that's good. Good enough. So, I also have the eyeliner. Okay, I just did foundation and I did concealer. Now I'm doing eyeliner. Don't know why it came out like that. Eyeliner. Somebody come get her. I guess I'll focus when doing my eyeliner. Okay. That's good for the most part, but I want to clean this little dot that ended up happening right inside my eye. Okay. I guess so focused on my eyeliner. I'm sorry. Why does it look so messy? Okay, that looks better. And then I have lipstick as well. That's Kylie Cosmetics. I'm doing like a natural look today. Cause I can. And then as you know, I like to do my mascara very last because setting spray. Setting spray, I don't know why, but it always makes my mascara it always makes my mascara like super clumpy and unable to actually work. And then I end up with like really big black rings around my eyes. So I'm like, no, I'm going to go ahead and just do setting spray at the end. However, I have done it with the Kylie Cosmetic. And it's not as bad actually. I can put the mascara on and the setting spray, but it just bothers me out of habit. Because of all the other setting sprays and mascaras I've used. Um... 
and it does dry the mascara out a little bit it feels like for me personally But again, I just never liked doing it because it always ended up making my eyes look all dark and it ended up making my mascara run or clump together. And then I need to still figure out what perfume I am wearing today. I think because I'm dressed in kind of lounge down, I'm going to do body spray instead of perfume. And last night I ended up using the scent Pure Wonder by Bath and Body Works. So I'm probably going to go ahead and use that as today's body spray. So I have the body spray. My hands are way too because eh, I'm tired. So I have the body spray, which is called Pure Wonder. I'm wearing a uh, sweatshirt with the matching sweatpants from Vic uh, Pink by Victoria's Secret and it is super comfy. It has been super cold in Arizona surprisingly. Usually it is so hot here and I just it's a surprise actually. Okay and now I am ready. I just have to wait for something. What was I had to wait for? Oh yeah my mom. <laughs> I'm like there's something I'm supposed to wait for. Yeah my mom and grandmother went to the grocery store and they bought uh, baked goods for the kids because even though I bring food for the kids I'm not able to make enough because we have like 30 kids at the SATs and on the first two days uh, there was another person from the company that came to help with the SATs and he provided lunch for the kids but today and yesterday he left but there's still leftovers for Monday so yesterday the kids ate leftovers and today I'm like yeah we're bringing something else in because this stuff's starting to get old <laughs> so yeah. Hey guys, it's currently Thursday. State testing is done. <clears throat> um, so I'm currently in the parking lot of the school getting ready to head in. Um, I brought some snacks for the kids. So yeah. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go set up for school and get the snacks together. And I will get with you in the next clip. So I'm all dolled up because I did not work out this morning. So I had time to doll up, but right after school I'm gonna go work out at the gym. So I'm gonna go to one gym that has an open gym equipment, blah, blah, blah. All the good stuff. And I'm gonna work out hopefully for a while. And then uh, CrossFit is at three. So I'm gonna go do the three o'clock CrossFit today. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I struggled with my eyeliner today. I don't know why it was such a struggle, but I kept like, have to redo this eye specifically. This one turned out just fine. This eye, I struggled on so much and I had to keep redoing it. Um, but yeah, so school is set up. I have a huge table of goodies for the kids because um, they provide breakfast for them. They did, and I usually do that for the kids. And they're not here anymore, and now it's just my students today. And I only have one more kid coming in to finish up the state testing. Because that's what it was this week, and that's why I'm so exhausted. We had state testing, so grades 8 through 9 did state testing, and then 11 and 12 did ACTs and SATs. So this week was kind of very, like, taken over by that. Usually I teach school from 9 to uh, 12. This week it had to be from 8 to almost 3. So yeah, that's pretty exciting. So I had to cut that last clip a little short because I was getting messages. Um, but yeah, so the school, we've been doing this for quite a while this week. And now I'm currently going to do some computer work, get some tasks taken care of. And as I've been mentioning in the last few vlogs, I've been getting really into writing. So I'm like wanting to keep with that. Um, while everyone's doing schoolwork, I tend to work on my books, which I love very much to do. Um, and I started a what a pad, I think it's how you say it, or what pad, what a pad, I don't know. Uh, but it's like where people publish a lot of work and it tends to be a lot of fan fictions on there. But uh, I'm taking books that I don't plan on actually publishing and making any money off of. I'm publishing them to that to kind of start a name for me. Um, I currently have three books in the works on there. 
Uh, one is just kind of like a, just for fun, creative writing. There's only one chapter so far, so it's like, eh. One, I actually plan on doing something with. It just, the first chapter uploaded last Saturday. It's going to start uploading Saturdays at 9 a.m. on that page. Um, and then I also have another book that's been on there for a while now that I started. Quite a while ago, actually. Like, I just, like the whole reason I opened Whatapad was for that book specifically because I wanted to expand my work and there's a car driving by very slowly it's making me uncomfortable <laughs> but anyway so yeah i'm pretty excited for these books i've been writing under a fake name so i'm not going to tell you guys anything other than that other than there are three books on it and i'm not telling you what they are about because then you will end up going and looking for them and finding who i am um but i will say they are becoming kind of a hit right now they're not like a big deal they're not like the number one thing obviously but I am proud of how they are doing so far, considering that I am new to Whatapad. Also, another thing, last week I talked about an audition video um, that I worked on. It actually ended with me running through my little dance for the audition video. And what I did was I submitted my ballet solo that I choreographed for the recital for Parks and Recs where I work. Um, but Parks and Recs, I cannot perform a solo because I am a teacher and an adult and and you know so the only performing I'm actually doing is I'm dancing with the little guys because with the little guys they need someone who actually knows the routine with them for them to watch and figure out what they're supposed to do so for my tiny tots jazz acro ballet fusion class we're doing a jazz acro dance to back in black by ACDC and so I will be out there with them for that. But that's pretty much the only time I'm on stage is I'm, an, I'm assisting the little guys. And I'm planning on like mostly hiding in the curtain for the dancing. Like it'll be very rare when you actually see me out on the stage and I'm just there for the kids to watch me and be able to figure out like, what are we doing? Oh, we do this. Okay, okay, we do that. Okay, we're doing this now. So I'm very excited to see how that will go about. <laughs> Um, so my ballet solo will be for a uh, talent show that is a fundraiser. My friend is putting on a talent show to raise money for an an the animal shelter. And as you know, I love animals. It's a rescue animal shelter that they're raising money for, I believe. And so I'm very excited to be a part of this and participate and help them to raise money for the shelter. Because you all know my heart, I love dogs. I love cats. I love just animals in general. So this was a big deal to me to like to, get to be part of it because my friend did it last year, but I wasn't able to participate even though I wanted to. This year, I finally get to participate and help. Hey guys, it is Friday. Um, so I'm currently at the dance studio getting ready to teach musical theater. And tonight is First Friday. And as you all know, I love participating in First Friday. Tonight, actually, for us, is not that big, but they're trying to make it pretty big, so I'm gonna go and support my local downtown tonight. Um, I have some friends that are going to a different one, though, in a different town, and that's fine, you know, because they're doing it apparently really big, and I was really torn between the two of, do I wanna go to Lake Havasu, or do I wanna stay in my hometown and do First Friday? Um, but, like, I just, ended up choosing with staying in town because uh the theater i help out with they're doing some stuff tonight so i'm gonna go ahead try and rake some people in to check it out and help them out um and then there's also they're also doing a walk of art tonight there's like five different locations to go to and check it out um so i was gonna walk that and check out the lights so yeah i'm pretty excited for tonight Hey guys, it is Saturday. Um, so basically today is general conference. What that is is in the LDS religion. We have general conference twice a year. It's a Saturday and Sunday uh, service and it's online. So this week there is no church, but starting next week we go back to church and we have primary back finally. I've missed my primary class so much. Um, <laughs> But right now I'm getting ready to head off to the store real quick to buy a thread because I bought a bunch of patches 
for um, my vintage look that I like to do. And I like to do Harley Davidson theme. So I went to the Harley Davidson shop and bought a bunch of patches. And I'm going to go ahead and put some patches on some of the clothes that I have. But I have no thread to put them on. So I have to go buy thread real quick and take care of it. So yeah, that's how my week is going so far. Um, well, my Saturday. <clears throat> Yesterday was first Friday. And what that is, is like it's a big deal. Every first Friday of the month, we have a big event downtown. And I talked about that, I think, in the last clip. I don't know. Uh, but I ended up getting interviewed by an, the newspaper company of my town. And I was walking around handing out flyers to advertise an event that my friend is doing to raise money for the animal shelter. And I talked about that in the interview, and then I also gave him a flyer and asked him, Hey, can you put this in the newspaper? And they said, Oh, yeah, I'm more than happy to. So it's going in the newspaper. I was interviewed. I talked about it. I talked about being a pinup model. I ran around the vintage, the old retro theater that is currently in the renovations stage. Um, <clears throat> they took a picture of me in the st on the stage there and advertised, Miss Harley Day stopped by the theater, you know. And I went out and was running around and telling people, like, hey, go check out the theater, you know. So it's quite a fun first Friday. Very fun. Loved it so much. So I just literally got in the parking lot of the store and got a call from my family telling me, you don't need to buy any thread. We just found some. So I guess I'm taking off to my meeting now. <laughs> uh, we looked all over the house and could not find it anywhere. So... Now I get to go on ahead and try and kill a little bit of time, just hanging out. Hopefully I don't get there too early. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, it is Monday. I just got to work and I'm turning on the heater because it is freezing in here. Um, anyways, so <laughs> I'm just waiting for my students to get here. It's Monday. This week we're trying a new schedule out because my temple shift changed to Saturday mornings. Um, so I decided I talked to the kids and they want to start having school on Wednesdays instead of Friday. So I'm going to go ahead and bring them in for school on Wednesday. And we're going to have Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. Um, it is super cold this morning. I don't know why it's so cold. Um, this morning I went to the gym and took a pound class at one. Uh... And then I came to my gym and taught Zumba. And then I ran through my ballet solo because I'm going to be in a talent show to help raise money for the animals. Uh, so I'm going to be uh, performing a ballet and I'm doing tech for them. And I went out and bought some stuff just because I'm like, I mean, my stuff's good, but like I also would like to have some nicer things <laughs> to help provide for the show. So I went out and bought a few extra things. And also I needed backups anyways. So that's more of what it was, is like, a, oh, I'm going to buy some backups, buy me some good stuff, and then just take it and use it there since I know how my stuff works. Um, so yeah.